Hi all, I thought it'd be nice to have a look at some games of Vichy Anand and also Magnus Carlsen as two separate series uh, on the run up to the next World Championship clash between Vichy Anand and Magnus Carlsen. So let's go back to the Brussels tournament in 1992. Vichy Anand was playing Ivan Sokolov. I believe this was a rapid game. Let's see what happened in this. E4 from Vichy. C5, the Sicilian defence, knight f3, e6, and Vichy plays the open Sicilian. And we go into what is known as the Scheveningen formation, Scheveningen variation of Sicilian. a4, trying to discourage black from b5, knight f6, and now bishop e2. It looks like a modest kind of move. Uh, you might think the bishop might be better on c4, but this has got some advantages. In fact, let's just quickly check live book. It is the main move here. Bishop e3 is another popular move, and bishop c4 the third most popular actually. So bishop e2, and then we see knight b d7. This is slightly rare from Ivan. Let's put on Kabitza here. So I think Ivan Sokolov's idea is a quick strike in the center with knight c5. So the castle's knight c5, forcing, prompting an early bishop f3. Now bishop e7. Okay, the bishop's in the way of the f pawn, but now g3 prepares to put the bishop on g2, still holding e4, and then f4 becomes possible. So a quite neat little maneuver. Bishop g2, queen c7, and now bishop e3 is played here. Getting the pieces out, maybe queen e2 would immediately connect rooks next. Uh, you might think that's quite logical, but actually after rook b8, the queen stays put here, and we see an immediate f4. In fact, it seems here that uh, with the queen and rook like this, e5 is going to have more punch than usual, because any taking like this, there's bishop f4 potentially at the end of this. Rook e8, and in fact, now rook e8 may have actually been the first inaccuracy, major inaccuracy or mistake. Um, the engine suggests knight cd7 or rook d8. Uh, so we'll see why now. Rook e8. White just plays e5 here. So this is dangerous for this diagonal as previously noted. So if, well, black did take on e5 and after f takes. Now if queen takes, then bishop f4 is a nasty skewer. So Ivan Sokolov clearly doesn't want this position. So he plays knight fd7, but now here he's in for a pretty nasty shock. I wonder if you can guess what Vichy Anand played in this position. If I give you 10 seconds, or you might want to pause the video starting from now. Okay, an incredible move. Rook takes f7. Wow. So what on earth is going on here? Well, Ivan took this. Now queen h5 check, and it looks at the rook, so the king cannot easily just step back here without incurring simply queen takes e8. That's pretty nasty. So the king uh, basically has to go to f8 in practical terms, leaving it horribly on the f file as a target. Rook f1 check, and now black has to awkwardly give back a piece at, at the very least. Now after e takes f6, there's pressure on c5 now from the queen, as well as this h pawn, pretty dangerous. Bishop takes f6 is played. And now here, white uses this knight slightly loose, it's only protected by the queen here. Uh, I think there's various good moves actually for white. This is such a good position. There are various good moves for white to play in this position. Vichy chose one of the very strongest of them, according to engines here. Um, he actually played knight db5, so he's hitting the queen, he's unveiling a coordinated attack on c5. Not giving black much of a chance to do anything. Uh, black's game is in a bad way here. Ivan took the knight, and now instead of immediately taking on c5, that's good as well. Knight takes b5. 
possibly technically best for maximum resistance is Queen D8 here. Even in this position though, Black's position is, is collapsing with accurate play from White. Um, after Bishop takes C5 or even Queen takes H7 is dangerous. Uh, I'll just quickly show you this. Queen takes H7, so Knight D7, Bishop E4. Now heading for G6 will make uh, things like Queen H5 very strong indeed. So E5, Bishop D5 are on the light squares. It's a total disaster here, this position. What does Black actually do? Um, it's it's this with this nasty pin on the bishop on f6. It's terrible. So Ivan's move queen d7 uh, is played now. Queen takes h7 and White is now threatening. Bishop takes c5 among other things without the king escaping to g8. So was that actually stronger? Uh, then bishop takes c5, well much stronger actually, bishop takes c5, king g8, there wouldn't have been so much of a problem here for black, although it's still good for white, but it's not totally crushing. Just playing queen takes h7, getting rid of that escape flight square first, asking the knight uh, to do something, where can the knight actually go? If say knights, let's say knight takes a4, then white can crash through here with rook takes f6 and if takes bishop h6 is mating. So that queen takes h7 is far more powerful actually than just taking the knight on c5. So queen takes h7. So there's a threat now of not just bishop takes c5 but also rook takes f6 for bishop h6. Black played queen e7 at least now with the option of queen takes f6, but that's played anyway. Rook takes, queen takes, because now bishop takes c5, rook goes in front, queen h8 check, king f7, and now knight d6, and black here resigned. It's actually a forced mate in 10. The king's only got one square. If black had played on, with king g6, then the forced mate is with bishop e4 check. This is terrible. A normal move to try and not put the queen in front is just going into a mate and one. You can see it's it's end of game really if black has to give up the queen. So a superb attacking example game from Vichy, showing in fact he didn't even need to connect rooks by moving his queen. He just tucked his bishop away and it seems this f4 and then e5 broke open this f file for such an easy looking, in retrospect, sacrifice on f7 to bring the king out and then the queen taking on h7 later. It was just a wonderful attacking demonstration of how to attack the opponent's king. And it's remarkable because this was actually in a rapid game. So queen takes h7, it's just end of black's king safety here. And look at black's pieces over here, just spectator pieces really. Fantastic stuff, I think you'll agree. Comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks very much.